I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I... I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk? I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egil, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunvan, and there are a few others we met along the way. Charla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're gonna like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's gonna separate us now. Come on, let's start searching. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me catch up on what the fuck. I had to do it, Your Honor. She she was thirsty. I saw it in her eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, the kiss. Wouldn't the wait? Wouldn't that like not work? Isn't that like the exact same as like just opening up her fucking mouth and pouring a cup of water in? Like that works with air underwater, kind of. Not really, because you're you breathe out carbon monoxide instead of oxygen, but it fucking it wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, that's why you massage the throat. Beg your pardon. Uh, this is too interesting. Machine boobs, yeah, 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 Azure, you gotta have the booba. All right. If you don't have the booba, what's the point? <laughs> you don't got the booba. What's the point? All right. Booba's key. <laughs> uh, I felt like there was someone inside of me. Mr. Marinara, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, where the robot booties then? Bro, she got a booty. She got a booty too. All right. Don't, don't hate till you see it. All right. Person inside Fiora is, I don't know. You gotta, gotta, gotta find out, Flame. All right. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Um. Can I see Fiora? I can't. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Appearance. Also, holy shit. This fucking. Hey, look at that booty. You see that? Actually, <laughs> maybe I'm maybe I'm remembering through like rose tinted glasses, <laughs> or her model in two. Her model in two might be a little buffed. Uh, what does her appearance change? Okay, it's a cowling. We don't have any like. Oh, we can put glasses on her. Oh, yes, of course. Here's tiny butt. Alright, well. She's 
She's also a robot. So, I mean, you know, they probably... I don't know. Nemesis drones. That's right. She doesn't have, like... She doesn't have, like, normal, um... Equipment. She has, like, parts. Mr. Mernier, come on, man. Don't make it weird. Anyway, Tom's got robot ass. Exactly. It's fine, though. She was once a human. All right? And what are robots but just really advanced, sexualized humans? Okay? Well, look at that. They have, like, starting out affinity because they love each other. That's a flavor win. It's a flavor win. These people, however, she doesn't fucking know. So why do they have any? Uh, that. Um. Yes. Um. Yes. 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 Uh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> also, yes, apparently. Uh, strength up, cooldown reduction. Uh, I think you want the cooldown reduction. And then arts. Oh my god. He's got so much shit. Okay, I don't talk. I don't know anything about fucking Fior. <laughs> Honestly, it's been too damn long. Uh, no excuse. We can build. <laughs> we can <laughs> we can build with that <laughs> more ass. Uh, so you have a customizable robot bot. Look, all right, they're robots. They probably have a reason for not over sexualizing a character. Probably in the fact that I don't think they have sexual organs. But they kept the tits. Which just shows how important they are. Yes. Yes. I'm talking myself into it. And the tiny ass. Look, alright, what's an ass used for? Alright, nothing. It's not my fault you're a fucking... You're an ass person, alright? Booba. Booba's where it's best, all right? And, and the Japanese people, they understand that. Don't take it up with me. Take it up with Mr. Nintendo himself. Actually, this wasn't made by Nintendo. It was just published by Nintendo. Monolith Soft. What are the boobs for then, huh? I already defended myself on the boobs. Heat sinks. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Heat sinks. Yeah. Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? She's like, can you shut up? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Got a plug in robot girlfriend? Yeah. My life as a teenage robot. The Monado's light is fluctuating. That mechon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk. Can you stop talking? Can't you sleep? <laughs> Sorry. Did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. Did you? You want to eat? You must be hungry. No, thanks. But I'd like some water. Okay.
You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> She's like a humidifier. I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body. So I should live here on Makonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fury you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Ezreal. Besides, like... there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Uh. Mekon! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... Fiora! Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Manado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Manado's light! I can do this! Alright, it's just me. <laughs> I can't get any of the bonuses, <laughs> so. How much my PC fix? Uh, it's off because I'm just well strong enough. Yeah, exactly. All right. Just um, uh, make your PC um, a sword wielded by a uh, titan. <laughs> humidifier Fiora Wen, bro. My God, my girlfriend's a humidifier. It's the next. Uh, it's the next Itsekai, uh title. It's <laughs> the fucking lamest. Uh, this is one of the Japanese TV. Yeah. Uh. The Monado. It worked, but... I feel... worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? No! We're surrounded! There's two of them. There's... There's two of them. Where are we? You're up, Ben. Sharla. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan, um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. 
Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Ryan I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy Gatho? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Ryan. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. All right. I do like this part of the game. It, it, if you're like me and you don't fucking like play any other characters with Shulk, this does force you to like kind of, um, use the other characters a bit and you're kind of like very fucked if you haven't been leveling up the other characters like skill wise which granted their ap is not going away so you could just do it right now but i guess you know maintaining uh equipment and such what was that noise <laughs> but yeah i really like ryan ryan is He's really fun. Huh. I know I'm supposed to go this way, but I want this item. <laughs> I gotta get the Collectopedia! Oh. More plot? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Really is the emotional support himbo? Yeah, he is. He's great. Ryan! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right! Hey, it's the original? Or, well, not the original, but, um... Why am I Ryan? <laughs> I don't want to be Ryan. I don't know what these fucking attacks do. Okay. 
Right on time. Exactly. There we go. Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan. Ryan, it's you. Fiora. She remembers us. Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. <laughs> Fucking rude. find Dunbar. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry when no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. Nope. I don't believe it. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. <laughs> I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get, you ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. <laughs> ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't miss it. Don't care. I'm built different. <laughs> Ryan, I literally weigh a ton. I didn't remember asking. <laughs> okay, party. Um, Shulk, you, um, Rusharla, switch out with Fiora. Okay. Um, let me actually look at Fiora's stuff now. <laughs> okay, cannon drones. Drones from a cannon, unleash and strike beam, strike fire. Okay. Uh, removes debuffs and creates a regenerative aura. Sure. Okay, days. This is something we want. Oh, she's got a break. What's this one? Paralysis, okay. So you've got a break. You got a daze. Uh, this is just this is just damage, and if you hit from the back you do more. Uh, suffering topple. Paralysis absorbs ether. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, or a focus. Eh. What does this one do? This is a sleep. Looks days on the mechon. That seems. That seems good, right? No, and it gives fifty percent critical hit up. What the fuck? Wait, no, that's lock on. Get rid of ether drain. Uh, second gear. Tenses all the muscles in the body, increases art, physical arts damage. Eh, I mean, it's nice, but. Yeah, let's go for uh, second gear. There we go. Okay. Now we can level up. So let's level up. This one. I'm going to have to go find her books somewhere as well. And then...
Mine, we can probably just fucking level up everything. <laughs> uh, Magstorm. Lock on. Is that Lily? That's, 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 that's all the abilities I have equipped at level 4. Uh huh. Can I level up anything that Ryan has? Almost. Um, Starla. Uh, do this one, I guess. <laughs> Shulk. Uh, I do want to keep raising up Shadow Eye. Yeah. Fiora. Okay. We've done them all. Fantastic. You'll learn. Whoa. What the fuck is this funky music? Now it's the original trio. Uh huh. Come here. Where are you go? What the fuck? That's bullshit. Why did you just run up there to die? Oh god damn it! Why now? What do you need? Dunban isn't even here with us. Just like the good old days. Yeah, it's like that song. <laughs> Something like that. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh, the gang is finally, after all this time, after all this effort, back together. Yeah. Holy shit, the fallen arm. That's right, this whole this whole area uh, is like an island that is just the severed arm of the Makanus. Because the Bionis cut off one of its arms. Strength up four! What the fuck? That's crazy! Give me that! Change equipment. Um Remove armored gems. Strength up four. And then strength up three. Yes. Look at us. Look at us. Radio Carpia. Yeah, you know how it is. Radio Carpia. You don't know where Radio Carpia is? What are you, fucking loser? Holy shit. <laughs> God, it's so fucking pretty. Look at that. You see the, the Makanas up there? The Bionis is a well, fuck, I guess we're in a cutscene, so, you know. Oh well, I can stargaze later, I guess. What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sounds. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! <laughs> it's these three fucks. <laughs> Friends, stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky, very hungry. And Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. Yay, Ricky is back. I love Ricky. Oh my god. Bro, if you like Ricky, just wait till the second game. All right. Meet Tora.
Ricky Fox. Hmm. What's this? Kill upon Ricky, have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Oh, Ricky very tired. But Ricky very hungry too. Huh. How considerate of you. Hmm. Ricky not understand, Dun Dun. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason you asked. I've never seen a more side character crew, <laughs> crew looking bunch of dudes. Yeah. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad dun dun like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And dun dun not look happy. What's this? <laughs> Dunben never looks happy. Ricky want to hear Dunben's story. Ricky, listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero born. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. <laughs> well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky, listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other, but they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dun Dun, take care of them. Hmm? Dun Dun, watch over Shulk. Dun Dun, watch over Fiora. That is all a Daddy Pond can do. Huh. Ricky, make mistake. Dun Dun, not Daddy Pond. Well, I am her older brother. But just like Daddy Pond, watching over family. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Pon. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little Pon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's strong. Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here. Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. <laughs> uh, Dumbman is hot, though. Delfman? Yeah, he's hot. Yeah. Dumbman's hot as fuck. He's like... He's like uh, Richard Belmont, but like with a sword instead of a whip. Hey, yo, Ricky Redemption Arc? Yeah, see, Ricky is the real one. He waited for Melia. <laughs> Ricky really just asked for Dunban lore? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He's he's a he's a he's a, a furball of culture. That uh, that that <laughs> that Ricky. Um, Daddy Pawn? Yeah, yeah. The Napon have like really weird uh, ways of speaking. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you were here, uh, Duchess, when we when we first met Ricky, 
Ricky's 40 years old and he has like fucking 20 kids plus. <laughs> Dilf Dunban confirmed. Uh, it was this scene here that really sold me on Ricky. Like, hell yeah, a little emotional support f furball. <laughs> Keep the gang in good spirits. Yeah. Inlet Beach. I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty great. I just hate how they they introduce him and Melia at the same time, so they don't give Ricky like any fucking like, characterization until like now. Because up until now, his existence has been fucking comedy relief. Hidden Machina Village. A village in a place like this. Melia! Shulk! Guys! You were all right! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and. We found Fiora. Dunban! Fiora? Do you remember me? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina, the people of Mekonis. Booba head. <laughs> Machina? You mean machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. Booba head. Yeah. Hidden Machina Village. We're on ground level now. She's so powerful. She has two sets of boobs. <laughs> Bop. Almost spat tea on my keyboard. Ah. Uh. And here we are. The full party. All seven members. I need to fucking change the party. Because <laughs> who the fuck likes these shitheads? There we go. <laughs> no, you go there. There you go. Now it's good. Quest completed. Hold on, what are the skill trees? Ash, uh, Dunban, you got that. Oh, Dunban, you can link with someone. What? Oh, Fiora, that's right. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Why the fuck do you... Why do, why do you tell me about this if I can't do anything with it? Can you do anything? Oh, you can. You can actually do uh, this. Dope. Uh, can you do anything? Yes. Can you do anything? No, because you guys fucking hate each other. Because you're both uh, going for uh, going for Monado boy. What the fuck? What are you? Okay, <laughs> there you go. Arts. Who has new art? Dumbbag. You have new art. New art. I think it's this one. Final flicker. Sacrifice HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. A love triangle. Yeah, that's it. 
That's an order of when you got them, right? Yeah, that's why I put them there. <laughs> no, actually, no. We got um, we got Charla before Dunban, uh, but Charla's a uh, Charla's bad. <laughs> we want Dunban. Yeah, it's, it's very much a love triangle. Um, well, it's not a full triangle, cause it's just it's just two points on one, rather than unless the third wall of the triangle is like dislike <laughs> instead of love in like a relationship chart oh yeah let me um soft while you're here i had an idea but i have no idea how to convey this to, unless nick watches um this relationship chart thing right here this is what i want nick to make with uh his fucking relationship chart that he has Like, you have individual people, and then you have, like, a line to everyone. Okay? Just, just, just remember it. Just remember it, okay? Just remember it, okay? Just, just, just keep it in your mind. Remember it, okay? Because I have no other way to fucking tell Nick about this. Because we sat for, like, three fucking hours trying to make a relationship chart for all the people in the rainy mansion. And, my god, it was a fucking nightmare. And that's a really good, like, just a setup for a uh, relationship chart. Like the OTP chart. Yeah, 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 kinda. I don't know how the fuck I have managed to fucking get myself stuck. God damn it. Oh, I can just fast travel there. Fuck it. <laughs> there you go. Hi. I'm not an idiot, I swear. Yeah, we'll listen. We're going to ship? I mean, I guess. So, are you Mekon? <laughs> in one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mechonis. So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. <laughs> I am a doctor. <laughs> yes. Do not worry. Yes, happy. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought. You were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk. I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, dumb man helped fight Mech on Colony 9 first, right? Yeah. I mean, if we want to go, like, fully in order, it was Dunban... Uh, Dixon, Mumcar, then you got Shulk, then Rhine, then Fiora, then Dunban, then Sharla, then Ricky, then Melia, then Fiora as a Mechon. Huh. 
this massive. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He is my son. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. <laughs> he chalked the fuck out. Chalky. He's hella chalky. Are we already at are we already at chapter 13? Oh my god. Bro, we're kinda fucking <laughs> We're kinda going through this shit. Uh shit. <laughs> so close to the end. We still got a decent chunk to go. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another like training arc in the middle of it where I need to go do every fucking side quest again. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiquark, regent of the Hyentia. <laughs> we all know who you are. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Huh? I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Erith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right. You can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. 
So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. Ah, oh, yes, it's always funny when people see how big I am. Anyway, please kill my son. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Marinara. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. There are hardly any of us Machina left or Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynard fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynard? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Mechonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we high end here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did. And he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynath herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Agil now? Most likely the Mechonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mechonis' weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Xanta. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> she has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best.
I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... I got thousands. Where? I got thousands. Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mechon wreckage. We'll take a look. <laughs> I'm, the beach at the base I got a whole storage five. unit. Hold on. Yes, it gives off a faint <laughs> red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. Shulk is such a good boy. Always got a soft... Yeah. Shulk is, like, almost too good for his own kind. Yes. Okay. Do you have more? No. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. I should probably look at the... Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> I should probably look at the, um... The this. It's been a while since I've gone in here. Attempt trial. Okay. Well, I mean, some of these are probably not that useful anymore. Yeah, let's go for the walls have eyes. I'm almost positive I can I can do this really easily uh, because I am way over leveled. Oh shit! There we go. Not what I wanted to do first. Wave two. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Yoink. That was easy. Fucking like a minute. <laughs> a fucking minute. Superb. Nice. Here is little something. Yay. I'm gonna trade items. What? Okay. So I think what these are, these are like cosmetics. The actual items are useless. But they're just like cosmetics. So like you buy them and then you have this like outfit for everyone. So. But then there's the actual useful things, which is gems. <laughs> My god, this shit costs so much. No Alright. I don't know, I thought there would be like something new in the shop. There's not. <laughs> that is a, uh, that, that th this whole like time trial area, that is new to Definitive Edition.
it's uh, it's very similar to the what they added in Xenoblade 2 uh, with the DLC. Which uh, I'm very excited to get to. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I couldn't see with the map up. How many mech on parts do I have? Just out of curiosity. Just if, you know, I go over here and I go to uh, collect, no, materials. And I sort by name, and I go.